And now to our big story at noon. Today, police are expected to release the names of three people involved in a double murder-suicide at the Campus Quarter Apartments. A grief counselor is also expected to be on site today to help residents dealing with yesterday's shooting. A man and woman died at the scene. A second man died later at the hospital. Local 15's Derek Rose is gathering new information in the newsroom for us today. Derek, we saw some additional activity at the complex this morning. Uh, we sure did, Darwin. What we saw was one of the unfortunate aftermaths of crime scene investigations. Cleaning crews were at campus quarters today to make sure there were no visible reminders of what happened there yesterday. Now, witnesses we spoke with at the scene yesterday described an awful scene. You mentioned the three people shot. Two of the bodies lay there while police started their investigation. Uh, while crews worked to erase those visible reminders, you still have the emotional scars from the people who were there and heard the gunshots. And that's why the complex, as you mentioned, Darwin, is going to have a grief counselor on site today. Meanwhile, we are still waiting for police to confirm the names of the three people who died in those shootings. In the meantime, we are also continuing to learn more information about those three people. As soon as police officially release those names, which is expected later this afternoon, we'll share that information with you on air and online at local15tv.com. Darwin.